Hi, it's Olivia Taima. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I'm going to show you how to prepare your natural hair for your wig installs. So now we're going to take our washed, um, freshly washed and blow dried hair. And we're going to part it and get it ready for a braid, a braid, a cornrow, whatever you want to call it. You know, I don't have no, I can't see the back of my head. So I hope this part is straight. But as I can see now, it is straight. We're going to take our style edge booster, our style factor edge booster. It smells so good. I think that was the grapefruit flavor or the grape flavor. I don't remember, but it's purple. It smells good. We're going to just put that on our hair. Um, I put that on my hair because it helps me to like grip my hair better and like braid my hair so that I'm not pulling it too tight. Or pulling it at all and then I'll still get a somewhat decent or neat braid because as you can see my edges are still on the verge of growing back they fell out due to postpartum after I had my baby my edges just disappeared okay they're growing back now thank God and I'm gonna show you what I use on my edges to help them grow so we're just gonna braid um if you don't know how to cornrow then I will have a video on how to cornrow later on but right now, you should know how to cornrow. I don't care what I do. My hair still gets nappy. How much I comb it out, how much I straighten it, it still gets nappy. Like, it's so annoying. As you know, we're going to have to get this whole head braided. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to part out a section of hair, take our Style Factor Edge Booster, and we're going to proceed to braid the hair, okay? That's what we're going to do. If you're this far in the video, you guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Turn on your notification bell so that you know when I upload a video. And comment down below. If you have the same problem as me when you're trying to braid your hair and it's getting that beat, okay, baby. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below um the your ways of your or your techniques or how you prepare your hair for your wigs and what you do to prepare your hair for your wigs. But as you can see, I put that braid into that braid because um yeah, I didn't really want too many boys and my braids may look a little big and a little bumpy and a little loose because as I told you before I didn't want to pull too tight because my edges is already like I don't want to put no tension on my hair I want my edges to grow back and be there okay <laughs> I need them to be there all right and plus this is just for a wig I may take these braids out the next day or in three days so and nobody's seeing them so they don't need to be no fancy smanshy thing okay but yeah, that's pretty much what you want, Zulu. I really don't know why my hair really gets so nappy. Like, <laughs> you see that? You would have thought I would have never ran a comb or nothing. Like, like I didn't detangle my hair. Like, that is so annoying, and it happens all the time. I could comb my hair five times. I could detangle my hair six times. I could do whatever. It's still going to end up nappy. Like, it's, oh my gosh, that's so horrible. So horrible. Oh my God. I'm so, 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 so mad. So bad. Like, how could you betray me? I thought you was my dog.
so now that our hair is all braided up it took forever all right our natural hair is ready for the next step we about to take our blue magic coconut oil and we're going to drench our scalp with it okay we're going to saturate our scalp with this coconut oil okay because my hair gets very dry 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 so i need it to be as oily as possible because i'm telling you as soon as i wake up in the morning it's gonna look like i never put nothing on my hair okay my hair gets very dry and brittle i don't know why but we're gonna saturate our scalp anywhere we see skin we're just gonna saturate it with our blue magic coconut oil you see as i'm doing now Next, we are taking our black uh, castor oil hair food and we're going to put it on our edges and then we're going to massage it in so we could stimulate that blood, stimulate the hair growth. Like we need our edges to come back. I use wild um, growth with this too, but I ran out. So we're only going to use the black castor oil hair food and we're just going to massage it in. And then after that, you guys, that's basically all I do to prepare my hair for prepare my natural hair for wigs lace wigs lace frontals full lace wigs it's very easy and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one peace hey, hey. <laughs>